What's going on guys? You're in with Hardy Tech. Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Light Platinum, the Nuzlocke run. Today we're joined by... Rusty! Hey guys, how you doing? Yay, so Rusty is over at my house today. We were playing Borderlands, which is an amazing game, and we decided to make a Pokemon video, so she apparently enjoyed being on it last time, way, way back in Leaf Green, and she wanted to do another one, so... It's amazing. It is. It's a very wonderful experience to be here to, again today. She is actually considering making videos herself now. Isn't yes, right? um, I'll be moving pretty soon, and I'll actually be able to have decent internet, and so I'm considering making videos. Yeah, would you guys like that? Would you like to see Rusty like, do her own videos, or were you going to do them with Star? Oh, Star will probably be in some of them. Most, you know, most definitely whether I would like him to or not. <laughs> it just shows up. I'm just rooting over here. I'm, I'm, it's just, he'll just be in the background, just noise, screaming. That should be entertaining. Oh yes, most definitely. And uh, so I was actually wanting to uh, do Let's Plays as well, so if we manage to get one of those fancy recorders you got, maybe we'll put up some videos of us playing video games as well. For those of you who are, might be curious, Star is Rusty's girlfriend. So, we're just mentioning some random person, they have no idea who we're talking about, so figured maybe it's a good idea to clarify that. Well, you know, we could have introduced Star to everybody if he wanted to be on camera when we visited. Yeah, we went to go visit Star a while back, but Star was feeling all insecure and didn't want to be on camera, so... But we're going to visit her on Monday. Rusty's moving down there. Yeah. So Hardy, leaving me. Hardy will be visiting. I will be staying, unfortunately. For Hardy. <laughs> Unfortunately. Well, unfortunately for Hardy. But now Star wants to vlog, so I guess you might get him a chance to meet Star finally. So you guys will get a chance to meet Star. I'm making him. I mean, he needs to be introduced to the Team Caterpie family. Yeah, but what what is Star? He likes uh, seals, right? Star likes seals. So it'd be Celio, Team Celio. Team Celio. Awesome. Well, or is that the seal Pokemon he likes? Um. With the drawing he made of me and him as Pokemon trainers, that's what he used. Okay, because, I mean, there's a lot of Seal Pokemon, so... Well, I know he likes Seal, Dugong, Celio, Earthfeel. Walrein? I, I don't know. You know, that's not technically a Seal, it's a Walrus, but I don't see why not. It, it's a, a Cirrus. Cirrus? Yes. New species, just... It's just a Seal with fangs. Yeah, it's a Seal Vampire. Oh, man, that's so cool. You think, like, wouldn't it be cool if it could learn, like, Absorb in, like, those other moves? Uh, well, I don't know if it'd be, like, Absorb because of a grass type, but some kind of, like, Leech Life. Yeah, but isn't that, are technically all those moves, uh, Leaf type? Grass uh, type? Leech Life is Bug. Or Grass type moves. Yes. It's the, it's the green type. <laughs> um, I, I think when I was younger, I always kept calling it Leaf type. I didn't know it was called Grass type, because, like, the symbol is a leaf, yeah. so... I, I, well, I guess, you know, they can't just, like, draw a blade of grass and you're just supposed to know what it is. So, yeah. It's very confusing. But, um, what are we going to be doing tomorrow? Tomorrow we're going to Sack Anime. Yay! This is basically the, um, the anime convention that goes on in Sacramento. It's usually twice a year, one in the summer and one in the winter. And me and Hardy are going for Saturday and Sunday. Yeah, she went last year, and I didn't go, so this is my chance to go and have a lot of fun. It was so boring without you. You made me take a wizard. <laughs> you went um, dressed as, what, Maple Hoof? Yeah, from uh, Homestuck. It was a very sad Maple Hoof. I basically wore a white horse head mask and um, a pair of pink suspenders. I, I, oh, wait, what? Where am I supposed to go? Game? Hack the game. Game? You don't even know what game this is, do you? No, I do not. This is, you've like never seen I'm anything like, like this before. I'm like not up to date in your Pokemon world. I have really bad internet. I mean, like the average download speed is like 10 kilobytes a second, which is absolutely horrible. That's like down right up to dial up. And so it's very hard for me to keep connected with all the Pokemon stuff that goes on. I would totally watch Hardy's videos all the time if I could, but I can only on rare occasions. She's just saying that because I'm standing right here. She doesn't want to be like, oh, I never watch his videos. No, I, I never watch Hardy's videos. I just want to be in them. Didn't you watch the vlogs? Um, yes. Yes, you did. Because I remember you commenting on Lisa. Yeah. Saying um, that they're very nice people. 
basically like some like this is how my internet works. It's really weird. I have Usenet, so we'll have good internet at the very beginning of the month, and I can actually go on YouTube and watch. So that's when I'm like, oh, Hardy's has some videos up. We'll you know watch a few of them, and so on occasion I'll get to watch Hardy's videos, but I'm not up to speed all the time. Yeah. So. Yeah. That. Wow. You have Usenet. I didn't know that. Yeah, HughesNet, it's horrible. Don't give into the lies the commercials say. It'll say like 10 megabytes per second, but it's really 10 kilobytes per second, average download speed. I came very close to getting HughesNet earlier, because or last year, we were having a bunch of internet problems here, and um, well, I was, at one point I kept seeing commercials for HughesNet, I'm like, wow, that seems awesome, it's like 15 megabytes a second, that's amazing. And then I, well, I if found out like the price If you think 15 megabytes is <laughs> amazing, you've got a lot to learn about what kind of internet is out there. Well, I meant... Considering like what I have now, 15 megabytes would be amazing. Cause I used to have like 20 megabyte download speed, and it was amazing. I loved it. Yeah, that's what I used to have when I first moved out here, and we lived like closer in town. Now we live in the middle of nowhere, and since we have no telephone poles connecting to our house, we have to have really bad satellite internet. Yeah, we, me and Rusty both pretty much live like in the middle of nowhere, which is quite fantastic. But I live in the woods, and yet somehow I get yeah, better internet um, than you. Hardy lives in the middle of the woods, which is where I think I should live. I live in the middle of, like, a like a prairie. I know. Well, it's... it's Oh, that's a beautiful fly. I'm very stupid. It's really not a good place for a deer. You have nowhere to, like, graze. I have nowhere to graze or hide. You just, like, try to crouch down in the grass. You don't see me. I'm, like, hiding in the pond next to my house. I didn't know deers can. can deers swim? I think so. I would like be very interested in finding this out now. I want to go for it. Well, let's just go like, throw you Did in you a pool. Did you ever see that? Okay, there's this one YouTube video I remember watching, and it's essentially of a baby deer, and like it was like swimming around in someone's pool, and the guy was trying to get it out. He finally got it out. The deer jumps right back in the pool. <laughs> really? Yeah. Wow. What a troll. <laughs> Fucking deer troll. Um... I, I was going to say something, and now I can't remember what it is, so I'm, let's just pretend I wasn't going to say anything. Neither. Of it. So, you don't know, anyways, what I was like trying to get at earlier before we got completely distracted is, you've never, you have like no idea what game this is. No, I do not. So, this is Pokemon Light Platinum. It is a hack of, I believe, um, I think it's Fire Red or Ruby, I'm not sure. It, it's a hack of a third gen game. Where they, as you could probably tell by the Troker Rourke and like the Zip Strike and everything, they uh, hacked in fourth and fifth generation Pokemon, and it's pretty much just a brand new game. Like it has two regions in it, kind of like uh, Gold and Silver would have with Kanto and Johto. It has like two regions, and just it, it's brand new storyline, brand new characters, and it, it's it's amazing. And there's only like seven million rival battles, so it's totally not like too many or anything. That sounds pretty cool, though. Like, I don't see why people would wait, like, the longest times for, like, the new Pokemon games to come out when you can just do these. I mean, I think it looks pretty cool. It looks downright official to me. It is. And, well, uh, there's, like, not that many hacks that are, like, this professionally made. I mean, I can only think of, like, a few off the top of my head. But, um, they're always oh, just so much fun to play. And this is the first one I've done on my channel that's just, like, a brand new hack. So. Oh, you named a Pokemon after me. You just, yeah, yeah, I told you this, like, when I very first caught it. I think I after remember I, that. It's just, like, <laughs> I, since I'm not up to date, I kind of forgot. But I remember when you did tell me, I was like, oh, I'm so honored. It, and, um, uh, uh, oh, hello. What, what, uh, what is that? It, it's an electric, oh, oh, it's a button. The buttons. Let's press the, bu okay, no, we're not that's, pressing that's that button. That's not a button. That, that's a button. I know it. That's I can, a, that's a switch. This is a, it's a, it, the switch. See, it's a, it's a, a switch. switch. It's. It's a button, though. Technically, it is a button, but it's also a stick. You, it's like a stick button. You you push it down, and then th stuff happens. That makes it a button. Ampharos. Ampharos. Have, have you seen, like, Where the is super your cow Fabio hair? Yeah. I love it, man. That That's, like, all you have to do to become a mega Pokemon now is just grow fabulous hair. Well, you know, this was a life lesson we learned in Dragon Ball Z. You To gain superpowers, you just need to scream and get really big hair. Ah, uh, ooh, I don't, I don't know, I, I don't know if I should get rid of Move for Crunch. I don't remember if his special attack is good or not. Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't need Quick Attack, but I'll look at his stats afterwards, because now I'm confused. Quick Attack is for slow Pokemon. Uh, well, yeah, that's true. I think Arcan and Archeops are relatively fast, so. 
I don't need to worry about them. But um, so what are we gonna be doing at Sack Anime tomorrow? Um. Well, I plan to cruise the vending hall and resist the urge to buy everything in sight. <laughs> and um, we are also going to be looking for my fabulous employee at Kmart, Ian, which is Hardy's friend crush. Oh God, I love that guy. I don't. Um, I I don't know why. <laughs> I feel so weird now. I remember, like, when me and, like, before I started working at Kmart, me and Hardy went into Kmart to return a keyboard that he got for me because it wasn't Mac compatible. And, um, Ian was working in there, and we had just, just an excellent conversation, and I think that's when the friend crush bloomed. And I was like, you know what, I'm gonna get a job here and totally piss off Hardy. And I did. I'm so jealous. <laughs> I would have, I was like, why, you gotta put in a good word for me, tell him how amazing I am. Hey, well, maybe since I'm leaving, you can take my job. I don't want to work at Kmart. Why not? Because it's easy. You're, like, constantly bitching about it, though. I have the right to bitch. It's a job. What? That... I mainly bitch about stupid things, like how I have to work at the cash register, and I have to stare at all the candy, and it makes me hungry for candy, and I really should not be eating it. I Seriously, like, every almost every time after work, since I have to work around that fucking candy all the time, I'll either <laughs> buy donuts or candy or something really bad for me. Oh, should you should tell him about what happened the other day when I tried to come visit you. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> I have, like, the re another reason why I'm moving is just because I've been in such a rut, and, like, it's just been doing a toll on me mentally. So, um, I was working at Kmart, and, uh, this was probably my third day in a row working, like, really long, like, shifts, like, into the evening. And, um, apparently... Hardy came into the store without telling me, and he was next in line at my cash register... Apparently, we even made eye contact, but I had no clue he was there. Nope. It just, it broke my heart. i like, she hates me. Yes, this is, like, the first time that we had seen each other since before I went on my road trip. So, I'm like, oh, it's gonna be amazing. And she's just gonna be like, Hardy, I missed you. But you probably would have scared the shit out of me. You just looked at me, and then you just, like, went on with your day, and it just broke my heart. And then, and then, of course, someone... Well, technically, someone you never to, got to my register. I was about to get there. Someone came and, like, opened up the next register, and she's like, oh, I'll get you over here. And I'm like, but... You should just but, told her no. Yeah, I, no. I'm like, it would have seemed suspicious if I'm like, no, I'll pass up on going faster, and I'll just awkwardly stand here behind some this old lady. Some people, some people wait. I don't know, and that's when I'm always, like, joking around to my other employees. Oh, I'm so much cooler than you. They want to stay at my line. <laughs> I would have gave you a reason to make them feel horrible. Because <laughs> you are cooler than everybody. Ooh. <gasps> Evolution. It's exciting revelation. I wasn't expecting this. It's a... It, it's... 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 I should have... Oh, when I read... I have to give him a nickname. I think I'm going to nickname him, like, Fruit Loops. Fruit Loops. That's, a, that's an awesome nickname. I like that. Cause he's all colorful and he reminds me of Fruit Loops. Fruit Loops. So, that up next is the gym leader. And I don't... Wait that's a little day, like the it's like taking up the whole space <laughs> look at his face he looks, look at his eyes he, he just the, wants he to... is the gym leader not not the not the girl <laughs> that's a guy not the dude it's just like standing behind him like please don't hurt me <laughs> i don't want to die anyways i don't think i'm like high enough level to take on the gym and i don't want to have to go grind because that takes forever but um i think really quick i'm gonna go check the gym levels to see what level I should be in. Yeah, just be patient. Bye. So yeah, I am not high enough level to take on a gym leader yet, so we're going to be doing a little bit of live action grinding, and we're going to be telling a story. So a while back, I did a video where I told the story of how I met Rusty, and today, while I'm grinding, she's going to be telling her perspective of that story, and I'm going to be pointing out any mistakes she may make, because I'm sure she'll make some. Anyways, Rusty. Okay. So, it is the day of graduation. I did not want to go, but my teacher forced me to attend. Me and Hardy attended a independence, so it's not like a normal high school. So, um, there really weren't that many kids, but it still felt like a lot. Anyway, I showed up to the um, event, and I did not know that these graduation ceremonies are formal. So, I showed up in the Superman t-shirt, and I'm really upset that I did not use that to better use because I wore it under my um, graduation robe and I should have just like ripped it off and revealed the Superman shirt as I got up to take my diploma. Anyway, um, so they lure us into like this weird room. They start kind of gathering us in there and uh, I'm sitting like kind of alone near the door 
and uh, eventually it starts getting really loud and noisy, and then I see Cardi walking on the complete other side. Now, I'm just sitting there contemplating to myself, okay, we can either sit here and listen to all these annoying jerks ramble on, and we can be alone and lonely, or we can go try to make a friend. So, I um, got up and I went to go sit across from Cardi, and I uh, started making small talk about the only thing I really could relate to with other nerd type people, video games. And so eventually we got into like Pokemon and TF2. Actually, we didn't talk about Pokemon at graduation. We didn't? No, because the first time we talked about Pokemon was later that night on Skype when you saw my Caterpie icon. I know, because I thought like um, you mentioned, I could have swore you mentioned something about Pokemon and then that's when we got cut off. Uh, maybe. I don't remember. I know, remember. But I know for the majority we were talking about Team Fortress though. Yes. And so, um, and then eventually they start telling us to like, you know, get ready and go outside. So quickly I'm like, okay, this guy's actually pretty cool. Let's, um, let's get some of his contact information. So I whip out my phone and I hand it to Hardy and he gave me an email address. And this is the kind of part where I get confused a little because like from my perspective, everything went peachy. So like Hardy gave me the email address, I sent him an email and then I got an email either that night or the next morning. Salutations, gradu fellow graduate. Yep. And then we started talking more on Skype. And I think our conversations mainly just concluded of asking each other different questions. And here we are today. That's pretty much just how you get to know each other, asking people questions. I hate it when people like feel bad for like asking a lot of questions. Have you ever met someone like that? Uh, yeah, I have a lot of subscribers who like they'll ask me a lot of questions and not well sometimes it'll be kind of annoying but a lot of the times it's just like okay that's how you get to know somebody but they're like i'm sorry for asking so many questions please don't hate me and i'm just like it's it's okay it's perfectly natural i mean like that's how you that is how you meet people it's how you get to know about them and whatnot i literally don't know how to start a conversation without asking a question because usually it's you know how are you or like what are you up to mm, yeah <laughs> like um hello question mark <laughs> That's the best question ever. Like, hello? Are, are you there? Is, is that a question? Is that a question? <laughs> is this a question? <laughs> What's yeah. going on? I don't know. It's that, that story didn't take nearly as long as I thought it would. <laughs> no. Um. But yeah, so pretty much, if you ever want to make friends, just go find that lonely nerd that's all by himself and scare him. Don't. Yeah, scare the shit out of them. <laughs> that's the best way to make a good... That's how you get people to remember you, is you scare them. It worked. <laughs> just, well, um, like, her sunglasses were just so intimidating at the time, because it's like we were inside, and I didn't know anything about her at the time, so it's like, why is she wearing her sunglasses? I'm wearing my sunglasses because I'm stoned out of my mind. <laughs> it would make sense. I can't go through graduation, graduation sober. It's, it's a horrible experience. And I didn't... Like, realize how short you were until, like, we stood up. And, and then, then you're like, oh. <laughs> I realized how tall you were, too. I was like, damn. This guy's uh, a giant. Like, is she, are you sure she's graduating and not just, like, one of the guy preschool's little sisters? Yeah, I'm, like, in disguise. I'm here for my older sister who didn't want to attend. It worked. And, um, speaking of the Superman shirt, I'm still disappointed that you, yet to take advantage of that, because you should have worn it yesterday at your last day at Kmart. I should have. I could have totally just, like, ripped off my polo and had the Superman shirt. I would have, like, screamed and, like, ran, rolled out of the store. Although, there weren't too many <laughs> Why people. would you roll? I don't know. <laughs> Might as well. I can't fly out of the store. Superman doesn't roll. You just... I'll you gotta prance, prance out of the store, then. Yeah. That would have been really nice, but nope. Well, You're I just... don't really think it mattered anyway, because there's only, like, two people around when I got off work. Well, you should have said goodbye to those two people in an epic fashion. Ta -ta. That's pretty epic. So, anyways, well, well, you know, I'll eventually have to leave this other Kmart that I'm going to be working at. I'm gonna okay. Well, this is your opportunity. I am going to take that opportunity. Eventually, you're going to have to do this. I don't care. I'm going to make sure that you rip off something, reveal the Superman shirt, and then you just majestically make everyone jealous as you become the star of the room. I'm just saying, like the mo like when I eventually leave my Kmart job, I'm just gonna like stand up on my register and I'm gonna like fall to my knees and rip off my polo and there will be my Superman shirt. Uh, you're probably the craziest deer I've ever met. Hey, you know, it, life is boring. You gotta make it crazy. Although, to be fair, you're also the only deer I've ever met. Gay deer. Well, in general, but yeah. <laughs> People, I still get questions like people asking, is Rusty really gay? And they're like, how could you, anyone think you're straight? 
I don't get it. I don't understand what straight is. I I don't know. They're horrible, horrible people. I don't I like understand well how people like. I mean, I pretty much made it obvious. I'm I'm very gay. Yeah. Although, we might be confusing some of them by saying "stars your girlfriend" and then referring to her. Okay, as let him. me clear that up for everybody. Okay. Um, me and Star are technically transgendered. We are uh, we go by the pronouns of male, so Sir, Mister, He, etc. So um, since I met Hardy when I still went by female, he is the only person I give permission to to call me by my female pronoun. Otherwise, usually I like people calling me by boy. Um, I don't particularly mind. You know, it's not something I'm too harsh about, but Star, on the other hand, I usually call I call him my girlfriend just so people get the fact that I'm gay. But, I don't know. It's a little confusing to explain, but at the same time, it makes sense. Yeah, well, there you guys go. So, for those of you who have already been like, wait, she's gay, but you guys were saying he doesn't make sense. Well, that, now it should make sense, so. Basically, we are... Two girlfriends that go by boy pronouns, so... Your boyfriends. We're boyfriends. We're boyfriend and girlfriends. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever you want to go by. Soulmates. Yeah, we are soulmates. We are, um, significant otters. Did you say significant otters? Yes, we're significant otters. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I love otters. It's kind of funny, because, like, I go, like, usually, I like, we make joke around that I'm a deer. And then, um... Star usually like since like as to star like what is me to deer star is to lions so it's kind of funny how that works out deer and a lion. Uh, you are a deer prince and he's what is he's the lion knight. Lion knight. Yes. Deer prince sounds way better than lion knight. Yeah, I know. Deer I, prince I, of the I donut deer forest, royalty. right? Deer prince of the donut kingdom. Kingdom. Wow, I have disappointed you. You're also Lieutenant Rusty of Team Caterpie, so yes, you fill a lot of shoes. Yes, I do. I have a lot of titles that I need to live up to. Well, I think you're doing a fantastic job. So I'm a proud lieutenant of Team Caterpie. I will fulfill my duty. And captain of Team Octillery, which, you Team know, you're Octillery a deer. Team just kind of there. Yeah, nobody's on Team Octillery. Oh, I don't care. <laughs> you're all alone. <laughs> I'm so alone. Eventually, though, I might get it set up, though. Team I'm still uh, conflicted on if I should use Saucebuck or Octillery. Well, you, I mean, you being a deer and then, like, having Octillery as a mascot is, it's confusing. Well, it used to be kind of confusing because, like, I used to go by the username of Rustic Octopus, and so Octillery made sense, but then it's like, the deer thing has kind of taken over. So, why, what, what's wrong with Stantler? Stantler's awesome. Uh, I just, I don't know, I just like Saucebuck because he, like, he's majestic. He's well, like, which Saucebuck do you like the most? I like the winter one. Oh, uh, I can't, I don't, I know, I think the fall one is, like, pink. No, wait, is it, or is it the spring one? The spring one has the cherry blossoms and the antlers. Oh, okay, so the spring one is the pink one. Um, I, th I like the summer one the most. But the winter one does look cool, I'll give you that. I'd probably use the spring one as my mascot, just because, you know, it's more gay looking. <laughs> you gotta make sure you're getting that gay pride across. I need to be the first gay Pokemon YouTuber. Uh, I, I doubt that's true. I'm sure there's some out there. Yeah, well, I guess you're right. I mean, like, it's, a, like, I guess it's more common to find people of that <coughs> orientation nowadays, especially on the internet. Well, yeah, with the internet where it's, like, actually, nobody gives a shit, you know, <laughs> unlike the real world. Well, I mean, there's still those assholes on the internet, like, although yeah, I haven't had, is... like, I've never had any negative gay comments from, like, you or with Lane about, like, being gay, I don't think I've ever had any negative comments about that, which is awesome. Yeah, so. that's really great. Like, sometimes I do browse the comments, and I have not seen any negativity on uh, on that sort of thing. So, thumbs up, you guys. You guys are excellent human beings. I'm proud of all of you. <laughs> I know. I go to, like, other videos sometimes where, like, the subject will be gay. It won't, like, be anything video game related. And you look in the comments, and it's just people being complete dicks and assholes. It's like, wow, I'm suddenly like so in love with my fan base for being decent people so. i know like i do see like the comments and um i hardly see anyone bitching or complaining it's yeah. really nice you guys are awesome so i think we're out of things to do so i'm gonna call that a day so rusty did you have fun oh yes i had lots of fun i cannot wait for the next video yeah you can't wait to start making your own videos oh yes do you think you could do this on your own entertain people for 25 minutes i hope so
I guess we'll find out. Well, you'll have Star there to try to help you Star, along. help me. I need a distraction. <laughs> well, would you like to say goodbye? And we, we'll, we're we going to be vlogging a sack anime, I assume? Yes, and uh, we're going to be vlogging when we're up in Menefe, too. Hopefully. At well, least part of the trip. I will. We will try. Yeah. Okay, so would you like to say goodbye to the people, then? Goodbye, everybody. Yeah. Until next time. <laughs> Hopefully you'll get to see our faces soon. Yay. Well, you'll never see her true face because of her sunglasses. Nobody, Nobody knows nope. what she really looks like. No. Nope. There's no even any eyes there. It's just little pits with octopuses in them. Yep, that's a, that's a given. Yep. Well, thank you guys for watching. Until next time, I'm Artie Degelio. Peace!